Jim Brewer, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay. You look sleepy. I always look sleepy. No, I know I... you got the whole dope eye thing going on, but yeah. you actually look kind of tired. I am a little tired. I got <laughs> my... I got my, I my... It's a huge compliment, I guess. Oh, he admits oh, yeah. that. He said it before, right? I've heard you do it in a bit. Yeah. No, no, no. But people I... always think you're high. Yeah. That's why my book's called I'm Not High. Yeah. yeah. You have a book? Yeah, October 5th, baby. I'm an author. Oh, really? But yeah, I'm tired. Where's you know your what? ascot and smoking jacket? Say, so, oh yeah, you're an yeah. author now. This is called the White Trash Book. Oh, okay. This is called I'm changing the author look. What's the book about, really? Honestly, it's a lot of uh, it's it's more of hmm. I wanted to sneak in some of these deep stories I would talk about that really? aren't quite funny. Uh, so I kind of padded them with all these entertaining stories of SNL and. Oh, you want to learn about Will Farrow? Let me tell you. These. So you got some of that in there. Oh yeah, tons of stuff. SNL, tons of half. David Spade, jerk off or not? No, Dave, but he will test you because he's a little guy. Yeah. So oh. his, his world is always trying to tease you, or whatever. So, sure, sure. Yeah, he came at me a little bit in the beginning until I threatened him. Do you want to? Do you want to use the headphones? I I just switched it so you can hear if you want. Oh, you, oh thanks, man. Yeah. Now you, I can you look hear. like a headphone guy. I still can't hear. You gotta turn it up. Yeah. It's a volume knob. Mm. Work <laughs> yeah, I know. Welcome to our studio. Sleepy there we go. psycho. There we go. Is that better? That's so, much better. Hannah. I've heard Saturday Night Live, everybody watches the show and they're all like, oh, that would be so awesome and so much fun. But I've heard it's completely cutthroat comedy. Well, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, first of all, everyone doesn't watch the show. Well, I do. <laughs> and that means everyone does. But what's funny, what I was getting to was when I first got the show, um, I, pro I was the last guy hired on this new cast. And so when I got it, they brought us up to this room, and there was a big press conference and all this jazz, and I was starstruck because David Spade was there mm -hmm. and Norm MacDonald was there, and they started asking everyone, you know, Sherry O'Terry, is your dream? Ah, oh, my whole life, I always want to be Gilda Radner, blah, 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 blah. Right, right. Uh, Will Farrell, all oh, the growlings, and this is what we work up to be. And I'm, I'm taking this all in, <laughs> and the, I'll never forget, they go, Jim Brewer, you... The only cast member to grow up in New York watching Saturday Night Live and now here you are on the cast. What, what does that feel like? And I just, I even hesitate and went, I never watched this show growing up. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear the, the wind getting sucked out of the room. And it, the president, the president, Warren Littlefield of NBC, grabbed the mic to recovery is like, <laughs> yeah. he's a funny guy that guy Jim obviously <laughs> uh, listen uh, I free get, snacks over there yeah obviously yeah. your parents didn't let you stay up late and but when you got older you must have been able to watch the show <laughs> I was like, when I was older, no, man, Saturday nights, I was out. I wasn't watching <laughs> television. I was just fruits to watch television. There goes that younger right. demographic. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should be out now. Yeah, so it didn't start off very well. <laughs> and funny. I just remember Norm, Norm uh, first spade went, <laughs> and, then, and then Norm was like, yeah, I kind of like this guy. This guy's, yeah. this guy's great. He's going to fit right in right here. This how guy. great is Norm MacDonald, and how underrated is he? He's very, Well, he's underrated as far as uh, being a character, but you just don't know which Norm you're ever getting. Oh, really? I just saw Norm in California opening for Spade. It was one of the funniest debacles I've ever seen in my life. He'd just go up and uh, he'd go, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know when you're like, when, when you're gay, <laughs> hold on a second. I, I, I was eating a, 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 you know what, let me, let me look at this paper. And you're like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? But, but that's, that's part of Norm too. Like Norm would open up I was the uh, comedian that would warm up the crowd at Saturday Night Live the first couple times that made Norm do it. So I would go up and I'd do you know, 15 minutes acting like this. I'm going to be discovered after this. Forget if I'm on the show. You just see my stand-up. It's over. I got a 10-picture sure. deal. Norm would go up in front of the crowd and be like, Yeah. So, so uh, we got all these new cast members, you know, and and uh, and and Jim Brewer here. He does great impressions, you know. So I've been working impressions, so I I, I can be here forever, and uh, and 
I, I, would, I want to try some out for you guys. You know, the place is buzzing, they're ready, and the show's sure. ready to go. Yeah, you guys remember um, uh, the guy that introduced the Beatles? What was that guy's name? <laughs> and people are like, what? What was he talking about? Like, <laughs> who's it? Uh, what was his name? Anyway, it, here's that guy <laughs> introducing the Beatles. Ready? Hey, here come the Beatles. <laughs> and then, it's no, just Norm Macdonald. Right, no one laughed, and he goes, eh, I got to work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he would just do that for like 15 minutes. He just didn't care. He didn't yeah. care. I got great Norm Macdonald stories in the book. They're, <laughs> they're my, and I tell them on stage, too. I've been telling them oh, the last, uh, last two weeks because I'm done with touring. Been yeah. doing two weeks, uh, two years, and I'm tired. Really? Oh, yeah. The reason why I look this way, I got my dad on tour right now. He's 87. I've cleaned up three poops already, brother. <laughs> you ain't a man. To Why is your dad on up. tour? Well, I'd bring him out, man. He's 87. It's either that or has he not? Has out. he not ever been on tour with you ever? Oh, no. He's, always, he's been on tour with me, but um, not the le- I brought him in 2008, and, and, you know, he's just getting old. I don't know how much time he's got left, so I brought him out on this one. There's probably some good stories to... to- to bring on stage with that, I'll bet. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> I mean, the poop stuff aside. <laughs> oh, the, you can't beat poop stories. You can't, you can't knock. Uh, I, I will guarantee you when you come to the show, you're not going to laugh. You're going to punch the guy next to you because you can't breathe anymore because there's nothing funnier than when your old man uh, just finishes checking into a hotel and he poops himself. And then when you go outside to see what happened, there's a crowd of people going, I can't believe someone let that dog poop on the sidewalk. <laughs> and you're going, Lou, do you know that was my dad? <laughs> Your dad's a dog? Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty intense and funny at the same time. Jim Brewer's at the Funny Bone this weekend. We'll give away some tickets here in a little bit. Um, you're from Jersey. Mm. Jersey Shore? No. that's Dude, that show you, was You watch invented. that at all? No, of course not. That show, why would I watch that when I lived it in Long Island? We started Guido's. We started the South Shore. So, we had the whole IROC Z28 thing going on. That's been going on forever. So did people really think Snooki's hot? I don't have... Do, you know what I just heard from you? Ching chow. Ming chong kao. Mong kao. I don't watch... No idea. I don't... I got three little girls. So unless there's a lot of colors or animals in it, I'm, Amen, I'm out of the TV world. They're not asking you for bronzer, right? God, again, ching chow mong tao. Ming gang gao mong gao. Hey, I'm half Cantonese. I'm, I'm offended by that. Cantonese? Yeah. Well, let me hear your uh, Mantonese. Hey, ching chow, man, yeah, chow. that sounds good. Mantonese. Very Mantonese. Nice. He yeah. did good. I'm fairly impressed. So I don't watch that program, man. It's, you know, it's nice entertainment. MTV does a good job spewing stupidity. <laughs> <laughs>